Hi students, have a nice day. In this section, we are going to discuss about some basic mathematics. Logarithms. Have you heard about logarithms? The term logarithm is derived from illogarithmy. Logarithms are very useful for multiplication, division, or irrational powers of large numbers. Okay, logarithms are very useful to do multiplication, division, or a rational power of large number of large numbers and also the logarithm is coming in thermodynamics equilibrium electrochemistry chemical kinetics etc so logarithm is a very important basic concept as we know that 2 raised to 3 is 8 2 cube is equal to 8 and 3 square is equal to 9 and one another is a 5 raised to 0 is equal to 1 or you can write that 7 raised to 0 is equal to 1 any number raised to 0 is equal to 1 so here the log base 2, 8 is equal to 3. Since 2 raised to 3 is equal to 8, the log base 2, okay, the log base 2, 8 is equal to 3. Similarly, log base 3, 9 is equal to 2. Okay, and that log base of 5, 1 is equal to 0. Okay, also you can write that log base 7, 1 is equal to 0. Okay, because we can write that 1 is equal to 5 raised to 0. Here also 1 is equal to 7 raised to 0. Are you clear? Yes. We can write here um, 8 is equal to 2 raised to 3. Okay. Yes. Similarly, 9 is equal to 3 square. Or in the reverse order. 2 raised to 3 is equal to 8. Both are correct. So this is logarithms. So logarithm is a very useful to do or for a multiplication, division or a rational powers of large numbers. We can determine the uh, nth power. We can determine the nth root. Okay. Also you can understand that in thermodynamics, then uh, equilibrium, electrochemistry, chemical kinetics, in many uh, situations, logs are important. As you know that the equilibrium constant and the free energy change, delta G is equal to, okay, minus RT, natural logarithm of K or minus 2.303 RT log base 10 K. Okay, yes. Then in chemical kinetics, various equations are there. Okay, log forms are there. So let's discuss some laws for logarithms. Okay, so very important laws in logarithms. I think you understand the concepts. We are usually using base 10 logarithms. Okay. We are usually using base 10 logarithm. Before that, we have to discuss some basic laws. Laws of logarithms. Logarithms. And remember that this logarithm is shortly abbreviated that log. Logarithm is abbreviated as log. The first law 
फर्स्ट लो लोग ए बी लोग ए इंटू बी इज इक्वल टू लोग ए प्लस लॉग बी दैट्स अ फर्स्ट लो सेकेंड लो लॉग ए बाई बी इज इक्वल टू लॉग ए माइनस लॉग बी लॉग ए माइनस लॉग बी एंड द थर्ड लो इज लॉग ए रेज टू एन nth power of a a raised to n means nth power of a it is n into log a and the fourth law is log a raised to 1 by n or you can write that log nth root of a both are correct okay nth root of a is written as a raised to 1 by n both having the same equation it is 1 by n 1 by n into log a in some textbook three laws are given because this law is an application of this one the fourth law is a modification an application of the third law okay anyway you should remember the four laws in the logarithms okay the laws in the logarithms the next is logarithm to base 10 i already told you we are usually using base 10 logarithms or logarithm to base 10 That is written as log base ten, and uh, usually the ten is not written. We uh, avoided to write the ten. So log is usually use logarithm to base ten. Okay, as we know that, as we know that ten raised to one is equal to ten itself. Okay, then ten raised to two is equal to hundred. Ten raised to three is equal to thousand. Ten raised to four is equal to ten thousand. Ten raised to minus one is equal to zero point one. Ten raised to minus two is equal to zero point zero one. Similarly, ten raised to minus three is equal to point zero point zero zero one. Okay, so keep this in your mind. Ten raised to minus three is equal to zero point zero zero one. And erase this. Okay, I erase this. you should uh, memorize the four laws in the logarithms then we back into the calculation determination of a logarithms to base 10 log 10 is equal to 1 log 10 is equal to 1 because 10 raised to 1 is equal to 10 It's read as log base ten. Ten is equal to one. And log hundred is equal to two. Log base ten hundred is equal to two. Why? Ten raised to two is equal to a hundred. Okay. Also, you can write here ten square is equal to hundred. In the reverse pattern. Then log base ten thousand is equal to three because ten raised to three is equal to thousands. Clear. Similarly, log 
base 10 0 0.1 is equal to minus 1. Clear? Then log base 10 0 0.001 is equal to minus 3. Okay. Log 0 0.001 is equal to minus 3. Also one more important. Log base 10 1 is equal to 0. Why? 10 raised to 0 is equal to 1. Are you clear? 10 raised to 0 is equal to 1. So what is log 1? Log base 10 1 is equal to 0. Okay. Yes. We have seen that if n is the integral power of 10, the log E can be easily determined. Okay, log base 10 n is equal to p if n is equal to 10 raised to p. p is an integral power. Then uh, example already discussed 100 is equal to 10 square. So log base 10 100 is equal to 2. But if n is not is not equal to if n is equal to uh, 25. If n is not equal to the integral power of 10, the logarithm calculation is difficult. It is difficult to uh, express the logarithm of base 10. For that, mathematicians made a table. From that, we can read of approximate values of any positive number between 1 and 10. The logarithm of any positive number between 1 and 10. And for that, we must represent a number in a standard form. Decimal form. Okay, in a standard decimal form. So, 25 can be written as 2.5 into 10 raised to 1. Okay, 250 can be written as 2.50 into 10 raised to 2. Okay, now just to know what I am going to log base 10 can be written 10 in the integral power I turn 1 is equal to 10 raised to 0, 10 is equal to 10 raised to 1, 100 is equal to 10 raised to 2. 0 0.001 is equal to 10 raised to minus 3. In the situation, we have to logarithm can do it can easy. This general equation is easy to easy to logarithm. But if we have to number of 10 in the power, the integral power is not easy to do it. In the situation, we have to log table. The mathematicians log table can do it. In the log table, we have to do it. Log values, approximate log values. That is why we have a number in decimal part. That is why we have a standard formula. A number of one in, uh, between 1 and 2 10. 1 in 10 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 in then remaining is 10th power. So we must write the standard form of a number. That is easy to determine the logarithm of any positive values. Okay, so let's move to write the standard form of a number. Okay, so keep it in your mind. If n is equal to 10 raised to p, the log calculation is very easy. Log base 10 n is equal to p. The power becomes the log values. But if a number is not an integral power of 10, we cannot write the logarithm easily. For that we are using the table. So we have to study how to 
take the values from the log tables. Okay. For that we must write the numbers in the standard form. Okay. In the standard form. For some examples. The first example. Okay. Standard form. Standard decimal form. Okay. Standard form of decimal or standard decimal form. First one. 35.8 It can be written as 3.58 into 10 raised to 1 It is the standard decimal form Then next is 252.3 The second one is 252.3 For that a 2.523 into 10 raised to 2. Clear? We have to write any number, any positive number in the decimal form, standard decimal form. Another is 4.57. Four point five seven is a four point five seven into ten raised to zero. Okay, the integral power of ten ten raised to zero. Then uh, another value zero point zero zero four one three. This is equal to four point one three. Okay, if the decimal point move to right side, you know that. 1, 2, 3. 3 places move into the right side. It is 10 raised to minus 3. If a decimal point moves 1 place, you write 10 raised to 1. If the decimal point moves right to left, 2 places move. So 10 raised to 2. Okay. So another one. Uh, 0 0.141 It is 1.41 into 10 raised to minus 1 Are you clear? Yes So any number you must represent in a standard decimal form So a number can be written as general form A number n can be written as m into 10 raised to p m is okay m should be between uh, m is the value which is 1 le uh, less m less than or equal to m less than 10 the m value should be between 1 to 10 m values between 1 to 10 that is very important okay M is greater than, okay, that symbol is less than, less than or equal to 1, then less than 10. Clear? Yes. So, any number can be written in this form. For determining the logarithm value, any number is written in the standard form. M into 10 raised to P. That M is the value between 1 to 10. That's very important. Okay. The M values in between 1 to 10. Okay. Log 1 is equal to 0. Log 10 is equal to 1. Okay. Next important point is characteristics and Mandisa. Consider a standard form of any number. N is equal to. N is equal to m into 10 raised to p. Already we have written this when 1 less than or equal to m less than 10. Taking log on both sides. Log n is equal to log of m into 10 raised to p. Apply in the first loop. Okay. Apply first loop. First law, what is the first law? Log A into B is equal to log 
ए प्लस लॉग बी अप्लाइज लॉग एन इज इक्वल टू लॉग एम प्लस लॉग टेन रेज टू पी ओके लॉग इज बेस बेस टेन द लॉग एट दिस बेस टेन एन अगेन यू नो दैट लॉग बेस टेन टेन रेज टू पावर इज इक्वल टू पी लॉग एम प्लस पी लॉग बेस टेन ओके रूल थ्री लॉ थ्री then it is log m plus p because log 10 is equal to 1 okay base logarithm 10 of 10 is equal to 1 so p then p plus log m so log n a number log n is equal to written as p plus log m and the p is known as P is characteristics of log n. P is characteristics of log n. Okay, characteristics of log n. And log m is mantissa. It is known as mantissa of log n. And it is uh, less than one. A decimal which is less than one. That's very important. And another important point is the characteristics are positive, negative, or even zero. Okay, characteristic value. The value of characteristic is positive or negative. Or even zero, but the value of mantissa, mantissa is always positive decimal, less than one. The value of mantissa is less than one. That is very important. Okay, keep it in your mind. The value of characteristics is positive, negative, or zero. But the value of mantissa is always positive always positive and less than 1 clear yes so a number a number n can be written as in the log form okay n is equal to m into 10 raised to p log n is equal to p plus log m a number or uh, a log of a number can be written as p plus log m p is known as characteristics which may be positive negative or zero and log m is known as mantissa mantissa is positive always positive and less than 1 okay so a number is uh, represented m into 10 raised to p and the p is the characteristics And log m is the mantissa. So in order to write or in order to find log n value, first of all we write the number in a standard form. And p is okay standard form n is equal to m into 10 raised to p. The p is characteristics. It is the exponent of 10. Exponent of ten, and log m is the mantissa, which is taken from the log table. Yes, I am coming to uh, show how to take the log m values. Okay, log m is mantissa. The value of mantissa is taken from the log table. Okay, I will uh, illustrate some examples, and by joining the characteristics and uh, The mantissa we get the log value of n. Okay, so let's move to illustrate some examples. Okay, I will uh, illustrate some examples how to take the log values. 
and keep it in your mind a logger value which can two factors two points one is characteristics and the other is mantissa and mantissa is taken from the log table you purchase one class table or log table from the shop or uh, i think in your uh, textbook back side of the textbook log tables are given i don't know so it is a log table logarithms in logarithm table first of all i introduce this table in logarithm table the left side okay the extreme left the numbers are starting from 10 10 to 99 Okay, ten to ninety-nine. You know that log of hundred is equal to two, so no problem. Log of ten is equal to one. Okay, yes. So in logarithm table, the extreme left, the number is n is given. It is starting from ten, then uh, running eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and is ninety-nine. Okay, end with the ninety-nine. So in log table, the values are provided to ten to ninety-nine, and the mantissa is taken from these values by uh, observing by reading off the values uh, from the column. The column is given zero to nine. First of all, you can see that the column is zero to nine. It says small letters. You cannot see. You keep one class table or log table when you are practicing or when you are watching this video. Okay. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero to nine, and another column, another part. It is main difference. Main difference is so number in the extreme left number is ten to. Ninety-nine, and next next column it is zero to nine, and the mean difference mean difference one to nine. So in log table you can see three columns. The first column is numbers ten to ninety-nine. First column is numbers ten to ninety-nine. Second column is Uh, it's a row which contains zero uh, to nine. The divisions zero to nine, and uh, the third uh, again third part is mean difference. Mean difference is from one to nine, not a zero to nine. One to nine. Are you clear? Yes. Then uh, first of all we determine the value of one number. I consider one easy number. Okay, one easy number. It is a fifteen point three. Fifteen point three. First of all, you write it in a standard form. One point five three into ten raised to one. Okay. Then log. A fifteen point three is equal to log one point five three into ten raised to one. It is in the standard form. You know that n is equal to m into ten raised to p. And p is the mantissa. Okay, log n p plus log m. Okay, p plus log m. So p is the character. P is characteristic. That is one, one plus, one plus. Then look at this value in the log table. One five three. Okay. So for that, you coming to fifteen one five here. Okay. One five. Then move the columns or row to three. Fifteen three. 
So 15, then 3. The value is 1847. Uh, okay. 1847. So you know that Mandisa is less than 1. So 1, 8, 4, 7. When you practice, you can uh, easily understand that. So, characteristic is taken from 10th power, the exponent of the 10. Then this 15, 3. 1, 5, 3, you move to 15. And in the move right side, column 3. Okay, move right side in the column 3, it is 18, 4, 7. Okay, 1847. That is written in the decimal form because Mandisa is always a positive value less than 1. And by joining this, we get 1.1847. 1.1847. Okay, this is another symbol one. And again, uh, you consider log 20. Log 20. Log 20 is log of 2.0 into 10 raised to 1. Okay, we are skipping you some steps. You keep this in our minds. Okay, directly we write this one. Then it is 1. The power become character 1 plus 2 0. Okay. So you take the log tables. Remember that you take logarithm tables. But attaining there is an anti-logarithm table. We are coming to anti-logarithms. Okay. So log you move to 20. 20 is here. Then in the right side of 2, 0, no value. 0. So you consider uh, 20, 0. 20, 0 is uh, point. 3010 by adding this 1.3010. Okay, 20. The log of 20 is 1.3010. Another number. Okay, so we move to one difficult one. 635. 635. Then log of 635 is equal to log of 6.35 into 10 raised to 2. Isn't it? In the standard form. Okay. Now we are skipping some steps. First of all you can understand that I write all the steps. Now we uh, skip some steps. Directly you can write us. Then. Characteristic is taken from the power. So 2 is the characteristics of this number. Log of this number. Plus 635. Okay. Then you coming down 10. Then uh, here 49. Turn the page. Okay. Turn the page. Then uh, 63 is here, 63. Okay, in the extreme left, number is given 63. Then uh, after that 5, move the fifth column. Okay, 63, 5, move the sixth column. It is 8028. 8, 8. Why we write like that? Because mantisa is positive and it is less than 1. Mantisa is always positive and is less than 1. Okay, by adding this, it is 2.8028. So log 635 is 2.8028. Then, okay, then. Log 0 
635. What we have to do when the decimals or fractions are comes? No need to worry. First of all, you write the standard form. So log a uh, six point. Okay, move in the three places right side. Six point three five into ten raised to minus three. Are you clear? Write in a standard form. It is six point three. 5 into 10 raised to 3. I just erase this because there is no space. Okay. So we are uh, writing here. The character of this log is minus 3. Okay. Minus 3. Then plus the log value. Log value of 6, 3, 5. Again, same value. Okay. Once again we have to check coming to a 63 column the first column 63 move to right side column 5 again 80 0, 0 0.8028 clear yes and we cannot write this number as in this form because you know that character may be positive zero or negative but mantissa, mantissa is always positive. So you don't write minus 3.8028. It is wrong. Okay. By adding this, now the character as well as mantissa is negative. It is not allowed. So we modify this. The negative 3. Minus 3 is written as bar 3. Negative. Okay, negative sign is written as bar. Bar 3.8028. 8.028. Clear? Yes. So this is the logarithm of 0 0.00635. Okay, let's take a number which is having more than four or five numbers points first of all we have to take log of uh, four five eight three okay log of this value what we have to do no need to worry if it's a big number no problem first of all you write in a standard form four point five 8, 3 into 10 raised to 3. 10 raised to 3. Okay. What is the characteristics of this log value? It is 3. It is 3. Plus 3. 3 you write enough. Plus. Then we have to check the log value of 4, 5, 8, 3. Take the log table. Move to 45. Not 445. Okay. 45 here. 45. Move to the right side 8. 66609. Six, okay. Just make it 6609. And one main difference place is there 3. So 45, 8. Then main difference 3. 3 is 3 itself. Add it. Main difference is added. Then 2166.6612. As here we have only two three places. 635. So 635. Enough. The value determination is over. But here the number is 4583. So 45, 8. First of all you find 45, 8. And the uh, fourth place is the mean difference. Add it. Okay, very simple once again. You coming into the 45 place. Move to the 8th column. Okay, row 8. 8 is here. So move to the 
column 8. The value is 6609. First of all, it is written in the side. Okay, 6609. And the next uh, 3. 3 is mean difference. Move to the mean difference part and the 3. Okay, 3 is 3 itself. Add it. We get 6612. That is the mantissa. And that is 3.6612. Are you clear? Yes. Then, if a bigger number comes, what we have to do? In the logarithm table, 4 place is enough. Okay. Number, then, uh, uh, the mean difference, up to mean difference, we need four numbers. So, a big number comes, you must write in a standard form. Okay, so, it is 5.315, I round off into the four places. Move, one, two, three, four, four places move into the left side, 10 raised to four. And round off, 1, 2, 3, 4. Round off into the 4 places. So, 5.315. Okay. 8. Round off into 5. So, any number, any positive number, if it is a smaller or bigger, we can easily find the log values. Okay. In the next section, we will discuss anti-logarithms.